off. Today is day 327 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are continuing on with project number six, mouse position. Um, we're we're going to try and do a, a shorter stream. Today is Thanksgiving. Uh, it's been a long day, so let's, uh, let's try to make this brief, shall we? I'm not a, th I was going to say a thousand percent sure, but I'm never even a hundred percent sure. So we're, we're not even close to a thousand. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure on what exactly I'd like to focus on. I know we started, we, I, uh, anyone else brave enough to watch this stream would be we, we have set up a good chunk of things to come. We've been tinkering with some of the basics. We've, we've had our preset shape with its characteristics, width, height, background color, uh, its class, red square, uh, and the div area to receive where we are creating elements. Where is it? Right around, actually, I guess that's it. It's in our function shape where we are making the magic happen. Go ahead and get rid of that. We actually won't need that there. Um, so yes, we are creating a div element. We are appending it. My new shape. The new div to the shape div to position it correctly. Actually, the positioning comes here, absolute. We back off per pixel. Uh, we know the we have the given height and width. These are the things that we're going to start getting into tonight as far as the reshuffling of things, kind of polishing up just briefly. Um, in fact, I think we may just polish up things down here. I don't even know if we're going to start dragging up and, and moving them into the shape div, but all of this sort of preset info will be changing to the more dynamic random info that we are going to be striving for. Speaking of dynamic and random info, let's go ahead and open the example just to verify, make sure we're on the same page. Everyone knows what's up and we'll copy ours. So here is Topher's example project of what we're shooting for. Clickety click, different things, random stuff. Different objects behave doing what they do best. Super awesome. So, so for this example project, this is what we're shooting for, right? Here's that noise and clickety click. Yes, beautiful. All right, so now we will eventually need to give it movement. But right now, I think I'd, I'd really like to kind of focus on getting the shapes just just that's the next step that i can wrap my mind around so we're going to do that for that reason um let's go ahead and do something right right what exactly do we plan on doing well it's a great question if I was a person who wanted stuff to happen, I would try and do the following. Hmm. I know. Let's go ahead. Get rid of that. Ah, yes. Color and everything we need. Let's tap that forward once. So, even though it would be easier to have the single random value for the width and the height, if it was for something, we're going to add on an extra zero and, and a pixel, so it would be 40 pixels. Uh, but if we just did the one random call, as we had gone over before, 
that would give us a square, which is totally cool. Same for the circle call. We could apply that down there and then add in whatever the radius would be. We'd be dealing with circles and squares. But instead, we're going to mix things up and do multiple calls to get varying rectangles and varying ovals. Yeah, all that stuff. All of that. So, what needs to happen for the following to occur? We've already thought out most of it, and it won't necessarily be a whole rectangle function. It will be a rectangle object, right? Something like that. Not right, left. Damn, God, how many rights have we missed over the last weeks and months? Bad, Steven. Bad. Um, no self-agreement. I was wrong. You know what? We also only got rid of... I thought I got rid of both, but I only got rid of the first one. I guess we can only... All we need to do is get rid of the first one to light up all the fun colors. So, what should I be doing? Let's let's kind of polish polish this up. That's that's what we said we were gonna do. Um, we have our shape, which is receiving event. We can see the info here when it console logs. Let's open up our developer. Uh, View in Chrome. Awesome. There's that. Cool. Mouse events for everyone. You get a mouse event. You get a mouse event. Everyone gets a mouse event. Okay. Um. We have the following. Shape stuff. Console log. Step one, create an element, which is the div. Step two, position the div. Yeah, these I'm trying to figure out where this goes. This is more of a position, a location based bit of code because we're appending it to shape. That's more of kind of a structural thing, right? Or at least function type. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll leave the space. I'm just trying to like visualize because this, this is all clearly positioning for where, where it gets created. Also, let's go ahead and refresh that page. Yes, that's better. Beautiful, good, 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 yeah. Nice, nice, okay. Um, followed by adding the class. Trying to think of how I wanna go about doing this. Let's go ahead, right now, all the info that we have set up down here We'll have, we basically get to cr uh, keep the create my new shape. This theoretically, I think, is fine. I'm trying to figure out if I need a separate one for my new shape oval or rectangle. I don't actually think we do. don't think we do. We'll have an if statement where if it has a radius then it will be an oval. I gotta figure out how to determine when 
it's a rectangle, and when it's an oval. Maybe we can pull the 50-50 code from our coin toss project. I think that would be a good way to do it. I know I should invest the time to recall as best as I can before we crack that open, but then again, that's why we did the project, so we can have stuff to reference of our own in the future. Uh, that time being now, so I don't have too big of an issue referencing that. Color here. Rectangle R height. You know what? We we built out. Uh, rectangle used to look like this, but then we set up everything that was necessary to have the two varying bits of code. R height and whatnot. So let's take this. Copy, copy, copy. This will be O height. Oval and width. Random. Do I need to give random something? No, I don't. We're just referencing random. It already knows to pull, to pull that. Yeah, random, random just happens, and it references that noise. We're golden. We're good. We're good. All set. Okay, so we will be changing, I think, rectangle probably to a variable. Variable rectangle equals blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure. We'll we'll figure that out. Um, I would put a lot of money on on that's what it will turn out being. I thought there was more to it though. I don't like this. Maybe it would be variable equals rectangle. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm confused. So let's leave that as is for now. Uh, continuing on with updating some stuff. So here we have our color function. I want to try and find a way. Uh, we I I should look into. Something regarding maybe a random call for RGB or a random hex generator. I'm pretty sure I could find something like that. Uh, I'd rather spend the time now just piecing out something basic. So let's see. We have red, orange, yellow. <clears throat> green, blue, so forth and such and such. We forgot the quotes on orange. Why is it grayed out? Why? Because it needs variable in front. No, variable color. Oh, that makes sense. I totally forget. I just, I thought there was more dynamic. Yeah, I just, I thought it would have been more colorful and whatnot, but I, I suppose not. I suppose not. Variable color array. Getting up the Y. I, I don't know why I'm totally second guessing myself right now. Day 327. We can't remember what an array looks like in JavaScript. Um, 
all we need is a basic list. We should not be questioning this aspect. We're totally... This is what, this is what Thanksgiving, this is what the holidays do to people. Variable fruits equals blankety blankety blah. That's exactly what I have. I just figured there would have been some more fun... Aha! Uh -huh. No, that was one aspect. Function. Maybe that's throwing it off. Just connect to. I don't think we need a function there. That's what it was. It was function. It was function. See that? Command Z. See? Function here. We just had the start of a bunch of noise. And that's what was throwing this off. That's why it was covered in sadness, full of gray. But here, if we get rid of it, that was our issue. See? So much better. So much better. Again, this is just a basic, your, your everyday basic colors. Uh, we'll find something a little more elaborate again in the future when we've got more time to stream. We're just trying to make do with uh, the little time we've we've allocated for today's stream and just kind of polishing up some of this basic stuff. So, variable random, we don't really need to call random. And again, this will be all the stuff that we we set up our basic info here within shape. This was all placeholder noise. This is kind of the real stuff that we're we're going to be implementing in its place instead um so we're just doing kind of a once over hey toasty good morning to you hopefully your day is going well we had a good whole thursday it was thanksgiving lots of lots of family and food and we're just trying to stay awake and cling on to the, our little bit of sanity and, and hammer out day 327. Do 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 do. Hopefully, hopefully everything is good on your end. Now, what were we looking at? Right, we didn't actually even finish setting up color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Purple. Do we do violet? Do people count violet as a different color than purple? <laughs> purple. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. Violet's for winners, and right now we're we're survivors. So whether that's better or worse, I'm not too sure. But that's that's how I would categorize us. So rectangle. That's everything we wanted. I realize that we could use again. This this falls in the same boat as sharing the variables. We could use our height and our width again. And the thing that actually makes it an oval is the fact that we are using radius. It's just I see it, even though there's the efficiency side of doing either the single call for height and width, or even sharing our height and our width with the oval object, our height and our width. This provides more var um, variation over squares, and I think having these as specific oval height and oval width calls also provides more variation. Is it really, though? Because we've set up a random number. Maybe it's not more varied. It was going to be random in the first place. It was going to be random in the first place. Because it's not just the same thing.
we come into that issue again where we haven't figured out how we're going to transition from rectangle to oval. There is, I would assume, another either switch case or if statement where we run random number and it will determine where it falls on the spectrum, whether it's going to generate a rectangle or not. In addition to efficiency, potential variation, because see, if we're using a random number each call, and technically it's not gonna you know it's not gonna be more random if we use our height and our width as it calls a different height and width as it would be when it calls it again down here. Changing it to an O isn't changing from an R isn't changing this bit. This is where all the randomness is occurring. The reason why the benefit to having it as an O is the naming schematic, which we've really been struggling with in particular with this project. I mean, we've always struggled with the variables for stuff. It's like one of the most daunting aspects for some reason for me. So visually and for clarity, I think it'll be better for me to have it as O height and O width. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, so let's continue down here. Um, style dot radius. We need to figure out. I'm used to button radius, but now let's figure out what it would be here if we had. Would it be border radius or radius in general? Twenty percent. Does that work? I don't know if the rules work this way. I forget how radius functions. Reset. Can't note that didn't change anyone's day. 80%. Crap, and we've been changing things down here. This is just a whole wall of nonsense. Don't mind me. It's because all of this is active. That's better. Man, save, save, save actually set this back to 20. Cool, cool, cool. Refresh. Okay, that didn't do anything for anyone. Set that to 80%. It should have, though. At least if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if radius is actually what I'm looking for. I probably want border radius. Spidey senses tell me it's border Radius. Okay, save. Uh, what to do next? What do next? Well, if I were to do something next, I would want the following to occur with stuff and such. Dear God, it's already been uh, like 25 minutes of fun. Um, let's figure out this radius issue and then we'll be good. And then we'll be good. Save, refresh. Ah, we got it. So that's 20%. Let's try 50, because we can. Save, save, save. Cool, cool, cool. Refresh. See, this is what I was talking about. There was that point. There's no need to go to 100 to get the full circular element. Because there's no... Now, I wonder what... Okay, so let's... Hover over border? Wouldn't it tell us? It had its little object description a moment ago. See, that doesn't change anyone's day. So what about at 40%? 
Okay, so 50 really is... 50 is that sweet spot. And once more, border radius allows web authors to define how rounded bordered corners are. Click on more info. The border radius, I just want to like get a better understanding of where exactly it's implementing that. Because I know this, the circle is broken into four pieces. So that's why I was thinking a, a day or two ago, or whenever we were chipping away at the bottom section down here, that it would be, I mean, I've got 100% because I just want to dub cover our bases, but I was trying to remember if it was 20 or 40%. I think I was fixed on 25% for a while, because I knew it breaks the object into quarters, and you're rounding each corner of the object. Um, so since there were four pieces, I thought it was 25. Not quite, not quite the case, but anyways, good, good time. So this will be... Since we have it, my concern now, even though it's 50% for a circle, I know it really shouldn't change anything, but is doing more than 50% since it's an oval. I, I don't think the numbers quite work that way, so 50% should be just about flawless. Copy, copy, copy. Let's get rid of this. We'll keep border radius at 50 in here. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna comment it out. It's gonna live there quietly, and we will update this bit down here. Style, border radius, fifty percent. Wait a tick. Hold on. Something's up. Something's up. Border radius fifty. We don't need the tax percent. You know, and I could have sworn, I think Topher even left a comment uh, like a day or two ago. It was regarding how we were doing. I don't think it was so much regarding this specific combination of number and letters, zero pixels, but it had to do with the the string portion and concatenating to another string. I think he was just indicating we could just drop in PX or whatnot, something like that. With this, I don't know if we needed to explicitly state or set up the quotes. Um, I could have sworn it was something like that, but anyways. So that's... That's what we were up against. Let's go ahead. We we lived. We survived. Let's go ahead and do 50. Dropping our percent sign. Once again, I don't believe we need to concatenate a string just for the percent symbol. Pretty sure we can just smash this on. I think that's what Topher was saying a, a day or two ago, but I can't remember what his comment said. But that's all right, since we're, we've come to the end of, of this nightmare. We've survived day 327. Let's go ahead back out to where we were. Uh, those were like 40%. 40, 40 we'll set it back to... Oh, hey, look at that. It's, uh, we've got, uh, lit, well, we've got Topher, but we have Litero, 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 yeah, Litero, uh, style dot border radius equals, oh, in quotes, right, oh, light arrow, God, I, Terrible at usernames. Son of a death. Well, that'll be the low point for, for day 327. Damn.
God, I figured after 327 days I would be barely better at usernames. I think I'm getting worse with each day at usernames. I always get so nervous when someone new comes in. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, but yes, Light Arrow, thank you for that. Okay, okay. Um, all right, 50% in quotes. That way it deals with the, the border rate. Really? That'll solve? Well, doesn't this little hyphen thing piss people off? Dial dot border radius. Maybe if I type it out, it'll be something different. Border rate. No, it isn't. Radius. Right? Radius? Radius, yeah. And do the whole thing in quotes, you say. Will do. Will do. Save, 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 save. Uh, Topher. I guess I was a bit late, huh? Slightly, uh, we were also shooting for a, a much shorter stream today after surviving Thanksgiving, so that's all. Not, not you, definitely us. We, we even did an earlier stream, so normally it's minutes to midnight, but we're, we're here chipping away, um, slightly after 11 o'clock. But yeah, good times. So, concatenate the minus. Wait, concatenate with minus is called... Ibeb case. Oh, God, I'm going to need the phonetic breakdown for that one. Uh, light arrow usernames are awful. Agreed. Toasty. Kebeb case. Keb, keep, kebab? Kebab. Kebab. K case is not possible in JavaScript because of the math operations. I agree. But you could use camel case, like so. Okay, okay, the hyphen was fine. Your syntax is off. You should have, uh, you have colon. It should be equals. Oh, you're totally right. You're totally right. I got an equal sign in there. Uh, Topher should be camel case and also there should, okay, yep, good, good, good. This is an echo chain. Um, I just, I'm slow at reading the chat. Oh, no, no, don't delete that. Camel case. Save the camels. Maybe that can be your first charity stream, is saving the camels. We'll do a fundraiser for camels in honor of camel case. I'm not sure people will be able to connect the dots, but we'll have sweatshirts made. They'll figure it out. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Or, or maybe we can have the, the first... BDX Inc. community meetup at uh, at a camel farm. I don't actually think people have camel farms, but if they do, um, we can we can do our first community meetup there. Uh, that's that's a long ways away from now. Some wishful thinking. Okay. Uh, let's see. Light era hyphen. Is that UTFA? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't use JavaScript to edit style. That's old format. True, true. It's just I'm trying to, like, tweak the things that will end up over here eventually. We were going to do one quick glance at all this. Let's uh, comment that out, because even though we were making those changes, that's more to come tomorrow. Let's refresh this. Oh, not that button. <sighs> refresh. Almost changed. See, look at that. Circular. Dead center. I really should have changed my OBS settings so you guys can see the mouse. But yes, I can assure the mouse cursor is dead center in the creation of the object. Uh, but in the meantime, since this is our red square class, we're leaving that out. That was just some brief R&D. So save, save, save. Refresh. Back to the squares we know and love for now. And then let's go ahead and commit and push this noise to GitHub, right? Good, good, good. Okay, so.
to close out of this. GitHub. Get her done. Yeah, some of that. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Um, there's that. We want to back out of this into OBS. Crack open GitHub Desktop. We want this guy right here, the desktop app. Good, good, good. Right, right, right. Okay, and what did we do? We, uh, tinkered with JavaScript stuff. Perfect. That's all the historians need to verify what happened 100 years from now as they look back on day 327. Tinkered with JavaScript stuff. Did we actually see any of that in OBS? We did. We did. Cool. Commit to master and push. Good, good, good. Resolving deltas. Things are fetched. Close out of that noise. Verify. Repository. D da dee dee da dee da dee. Lie da die 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 da die. Awesome, awesome. 17 seconds ago, we changed not the world, but our files. And that's all we needed to do. Fan freaking tastic. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's jump out of this back into OBS. Wow, what is happening in the chat? There's all kinds of comments. Uh, so for people who don't use JavaScript to edit style, light air, I don't. Uh, Topher, what if you need to edit style dynamically, light arrow? I also don't do front end uh, web development, uh, server side. Ah, I usually use jQuery Toasty. Uh, well, it wouldn't make way more sense in this case to attach different classes for square and circle, which we will have, and the classes will be rectangle and oval. Yeah, that'll be in the future. That will be for probably tomorrow, I'd assume. Uh, let's see. Topher, uh, agreed. Uh, Toasty, what was this? A five-second stream? I'd <laughs> 36 minutes as of right now. It was... Thanksgiving is difficult. It's, yeah, we, it's day 320, so we've had shorter streams, we've had shorter streams. It is doing anything and everything just to get it done. That's what we're doing. Some days are long, some are short. Um, Topher, I was gonna say that I don't even write CSS files anymore. I wrote all my style in JavaScript with React. Toasty Riot, I know, I agree. Hopefully day 328 will be longer. Um, lighter. I really dislike front-end web development. So for style components are good, good, good. Okay, I think that's it. That's everything for now. A brief stream, true. It was, uh, in OBS, 38 minutes of fun and 29 seconds of, of, a uh, decent amount of confusion. But, with that said, day 322, no. Day 327. That's what today is. Day 327 comes to an end. Thank you again for anyone and everyone who stopped by today. We had Toasty, Light Arrow, Topher, and uh, to anyone else who may have accidentally stumbled in here, thank you very much. Any and all views are greatly, greatly appreciated. Day 327 comes to an end, but the adventure continues tomorrow with day 328 of the year of streaming and learning to code. In the meantime, we are stopping the stream. Are you sure you want to stop the stream? Hell yeah. Kill it!